Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Judson's Racing Network. Today, we are joined by 2019 Snowball Derby champion Travis Braden. Uh, so today, we're doing something a little different. As you guys saw in the title, it is obviously a would you rather. Uh, so I've never done this before, but uh, so Travis, we've got a few questions for you. Would you rather questions? So you ready to answer some? All right. I hope so. Don't All make right. them too, uh, too hard to answer, but we'll, we'll get her done. Yeah, some of them, I will admit, man, are pretty uh, hard to choose from. So the first one, I, in my opinion, is probably a hard one to choose from. So would you rather know the history of every object you touched or be able to talk to animals? Uh, I would say talk to animals. All right. Well, I, I'd have to disagree with you on that just because, like, Talking to animals, I don't really understand what information you're really going to, like, gain from that, really. It's just more like, That's can true. you feed That's me true. again? See, with the history and object, I mean, like, say say they're trying to solve, did Hitler really kill himself or something? What if you, you find, like, some guns or something, some old, I mean, if you touch it, it's like, oh, well, I know the history of this, but yet again, how are we going to ever find the gun Hitler used? So that's that's not a really fair point for my opinion, but um, something else, <laughs> I guess, it, it's something mystery, like, uh, yeah. I don't know, the mystery about, uh, what is it, like Roanoke Island or something like that, that, I don't know if you heard of that uh, mystery. I want to know, I want to know, I want to touch the Egyptian tombs and know how those were built. Yeah. That, what was the real deal there? That's definitely one, uh, that's, that's a good one. But um, so it would have to be uh, uh, touching everything and finding the history. But so so why why did you choose talk to animals? What is your reasoning for choosing that? Um, so I thought it would be cool to to be able to touch the objects and, and know too. But um, I just you know I've always had pets. Mostly always had dogs, and um, you know dogs are are very caring. They're funny at times, like all those things. So it'd be really funny to know you know for them to be able to speak to add to that um, but at the same time you know I, I guess I've been thinking about it since you asked the question and that might kind of take away from you know what makes animals kind of special because you don't they don't they can't speak you don't know what they're thinking or what they would be saying so therefore that's kind of why there's that special connection with them because you don't have the opportunity to talk so maybe maybe that would be not so great but yeah, that's why I, I said it when you were talking, I was kind of like changing my opinion. I'm like, then again, I'm sitting on the couch. It's like, maybe no one's home. Maybe my brothers aren't home from school yet. Or maybe I'm just bored. And I'm like, need someone to talk about NASCAR with or racing or something. Then, boom, I got I got my fat dog. You know? And so he's 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 a chunky boy. <laughs> but that's, that's the only problem. Like, I'm sure he'll be like, why aren't you outside running with me? And I'll be like, um, I'm working on NASCAR right now. He's like, you're, yeah. you're always working on NASCAR. And plus, what if he doesn't like me? Then I'd be like, I wouldn't give him any love and attention anymore. <laughs> He'd just be like, I don't like you, but, uh, and so I, I just stopped giving him love and attention, obviously, if he doesn't <laughs> like me. But uh, we'll move on to the next one now. Would you rather be in jail for a year or lose a life uh, or one, one year off your life? um yeah i would just lose one year off my life i would have to disagree because say say i don't know i guess say in the future in your life you're you're hit by a car in like a year we'll say for instance that if you lose a year we'll say you're gonna die in a year well now you're gonna die immediately and in prison though however i mean you still have a year you're sitting there in prison and then you'll die in prison, I guess, or like the day you get out or something. So I mean, that is like finally like freedom, and then like you just die. So I don't, I I don't know, but I'd have to disagree. I'd I'd probably spend a year <laughs> in jail. I just, I mean, I I couldn't have been in there for a bad reason if I'm only in there for like a year. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I murdered someone, obviously it'd be longer. So I guess like I wouldn't have like too much re regrets. But I don't know. We we never talked about what you were what you're in there for. Maybe you're just in there. So um, yeah. we'll move on to the next one. Would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in a line again? All traffic lights be green or never have to. Oh, man, that is a tough one. Hmm. I guess I would probably say traffic lights for myself because I spend a lot more time driving than I do standing in lines, yeah, especially I today with COVID. So. 
I'd have to agree with you because really the only time I'm standing in the line is like at the racetrack and there's only like I mean, yeah. if it's, like, a big event, oh, there's probably going to be a long line. But traffic lights, I feel like that would just save you more time. Because, like, what is it on average, like, you spend, like, what is it, six hours at stops at traffic lights total in one year? I don't I can't remember what the probably statistic more than that. was. But yeah. I was, uh, I'll just have to look that up later. Um, but we'll move on to the next one. Would you rather wreck your mom or your dad to win a race? Ah. Uh. I guess it depends on who's been driving me the most nuts, uh, the day, you know, leading up to the day of the race, <laughs> which one am I most mad at at that particular day? But, uh, I don't know, probably my dad, just cause we were kind of, you know, we always did the race and things. So it'd be funny to wreck him. Yeah. Well, what happens when he makes you pay for the car then? <laughs> <laughs> That's well, I guess either yeah. one you wreck, I mean, they'll probably do the same. So, but, uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to wreck my mom, um, but I wouldn't want to wreck my dad. That's a tough decision for me. Maybe just maybe wreck my dad just because then he'll be mad or something. And then I'll just be like laughing at him like I beat you. So um, that would be more entertaining it for me that I wrecked him and beat him. So we'll go ahead and move on to the very final. Would you rather question? Would you rather be a famous singer or a famous actor? Hmm. Let's do... Famous singer, famous actor. I guess famous actor. Uh, okay. I don't I... really know why other than my reason would just be that as an actor, you get to be, you know, you get to do all kinds of different things. You can be a different character from one movie to the next or one show to the next. Whereas a singer, you know, you, you're always just yourself, which is great and cool. But I guess that was my only reason. Not that really one's better than the other for that reason. It's just my personal preference. I, I would have to disagree. Being an actor would be great. And the only reason, like, say I've I played in, like, one play and got the lead part, so yay, but it was just a school play, and I was, of course, the best one there because I'm super self-confident. But, um, and so that's, I I, <laughs> I feel as if I if I got into acting, I'd be pretty good at it. But I, I and singing, let's say if you, if you became a singer, you're a famous singer, obviously, because you have talent. So I'm not going to base this off of whether I can sing good or not, but I'd say sing, famous singer because I feel like that's like in acting. It's I, I don't think it's as fun really, and plus like all the like the special effects they do nowadays. It's just like you've got like that suit on, but it's like really uh, there's like some entirely different character over you and stuff. Usually it's, yeah. it depends, but depending on what movie it is and like all that flying stuff. Yeah. But if it, it just all depends on what movie. I'm in, but I just have to go singer because I feel like I'd find that more fun. And plus, you turn on the radio and you're hearing yourself. Then again, it's when true. you turn when you turn on the TV, you'll see yourself too. So it's like, which one's really yeah, better? Yeah, probably less frequently. So yeah, but, you're right. That would be I, a tough. That's probably the toughest one to answer, just because I don't really have an opinion too much one way or the other. There's pros and cons to both. Yeah, I mean, I would really either one's fine with me. But singer, as I don't have many singing skills, but if I did which I obviously am not going to become famous at singing if I'm bad at singing, unless I'm a meme online or something. So I can, <laughs> yeah, if you, basically anyone can become famous from singing if they just become a meme or something. Uh, but I don't know how much that's going to do you good, but that'll do it uh, for today's Would You Rather. Thank you again, Travis, uh, for joining and thank you everyone for watching. Thanks. And uh, we'll see you next time on Justin's Racing Network.